Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing another brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And uh, we're going to tackle a fairly simple build today. We're going to do this little uh, garden fountain type centerpiece. You could use this in the middle of like a plaza or if you just need a decorative area, something along those lines. So this is what we're going to build. It's all pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. We'll look at it from up above. As you can see, it's all symmetrical and nice like that. There's some glowstone. Uh, the walkways consist of polished and Oh, why do I fail at English today? Polished andesite and diorite. Uh, and then there's some stone slabs once you actually get right up there. So all pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get right into building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So let's see here. First thing we're going to want will be some polished di There we go. Some polished diorite, some polished andesite. Uh, we're going to need some stone slabs. Um, I, I will, will obviously be needing some water. And um, we'll need some oak leaves. And there's one more. Th oh, and the glowstone. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess right here works. We'll just put it right here. We'll stack that up too high. And then we'll just go ahead and knock out a little circle like this. Each of the edges will be three wide. And then we'll go ahead and bring it out. So that'll work. We will lay down the diorite down here. This is going to consi uh, this is going to make up the floor of the fountain, just like so. And then right here, we're going to take all of this and make that diorite as well, just like so. And that is the base for the fountain. Then we'll take some stone slabs and lay them across like this. And uh, we're going to leave these corner pieces right here blank. That is intentional. Now we'll go ahead and fill in the fountain. So just take some water and fill all of this stuff in. So you got that nice, peaceful, non-moving water there. So that's all good. Now we'll need to count eight, I believe, right? Uh, oh no, one, two, three, and then we'll go like so. And I believe that's the correct distance. We will find out shortly if it's not. There we go. In fact, let's actually double check. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So now we'll uh, hollow the area along that little diorite path out. Just like this. Over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just break up that whole little area right away. Might as well. Like so. And we'll do that. And we're actually, oh, oh no. Spilling water. Okay, we're still good. We'll bring this out. And do the same over here. All right, so there we go. Now that's all symmetrical, except for this side, which I apparently forgot about. That's unfortunate, but that's all right. And diorite. Okay, cool. So now we're good there. We're going to put in the glowstone in the fountain right here. Like so. Now we're going to use oak leaves and bring those out this way. 
So you'll basically have like a big uh, perpendicular line or a right angle right here. And you're going to do that on all sides. Just like this. Okay, now you're going to take some stone slabs. Go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, just like that. We'll finish that up. Now, if you're looking at the clock, you'll notice that we are pretty much done with this build, and we're only at like the five minute mark. And that is, uh, I mean, that would, that's great for a nice short video, but, uh, you know, at the same time, this is 15 minute builds, and I think we might actually be able to tackle another second build in this time frame, because this one is now done and we're only at 5.07, so let's speed over here, see if I can find it. I'm not sure exactly where it is. There it is, right over here. All right, so what you got here is a stone, uh, is a sword and pickaxe icon pixel art. Uh, this could be good if you wanted to make like a, um, a giant shop in a survival or in a uh, multiplayer world or something like that. So first and foremost, let's grab some black wool. And we'll just kind of lay the base like this. Just like so. Knock that one out. And just start bringing that up. Like so. Then over here, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Why is that messed up? That... that that is not, no, 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 that ain't right, there we go, that's better, okay, so now we'll bring that up to here, which is where it belongs, next we bring this out and over one like so, bring it up two, bring it up two more, and over, and then down, and then over, and down, and then over here, we're basically going to do the same thing, except we're doing it this way. And I don't know if I'm going to attempt to do the entire ginormous, uh, both the pickaxe and the sword. I might just attempt the sword here. We'll see how we're doing for time once this is done. So that's all good. Now we just need to go, let's see, from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then we'll knock out these ones down here, just like that. This one's going to come up and over, and then we'll just basically bring it down like so. until we reach the hilt, just like that, there we go, and then we'll knock out all of these pieces right there that were in the way, okay, cool, now next we're going to need some lapis lazuli, we'll need some cyan, we'll need some diamond blocks, we're going to get rid of the rain, uh, we're also going to need some dark oak and some normal oak, I believe. 
So we'll put that there. And we'll put, uh, it's a little different than that build, but we'll put a piece of lapis there for like a hilt. Or a gemstone set in the hilt, time set zero. And we'll put these in as well, like so. And now we get to fill some of this in with diamond, which is always fun. Now, obviously, this is not a build. Uh, I mean, this is a lot of diamond here, guys. So if you want to make this in a survival or a multiplayer survival world, um, you might want to go for, like, the iron sword version instead. And the best way to do that, as I've found, is to use uh, smooth stone and, like, maybe like a dark gray wool or something along those lines. I found that that works out pretty well. So let's see. Now that we got that done, we're going to build this up a bit. Like so. There and there. And knock those out. Then we've got... Oh, that's not right. Like so. This is oak planks right here. Just like that. And then we've got that. Um, this is going to come up here and right there. And then a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need some gray wool, which will come across like so, and up over top. We'll put that there, and we'll bring this down as well. And we're actually doing all right for time, so I think we'll be able to complete this no problem. So that's definitely a good thing. Next, we will take these dark oak um, planks like this. And we're basically just going to bring that all the way to the ground. We'll build up normal oak to build up the handle. Just like so. And, uh,. There you have it. Looks to be all done. So now if you want to make a big sign to go on the side of like a giant store or something like that, you now have some pixel art that will accomplish it for you. And I'm going to go ahead and declare both of these builds a success. So I'm going to call it time right now at 12 minutes and 10 seconds. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. It really helps me out, and I appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.